Hey, welcome back to the underground where I talk about all things related to firearms for you hoplophiles out there. I don't promote these videos on my main page, so please like and subscribe and it would really help me out. Today I have something really special. Now I have been doing a few Temu videos because who doesn't like saving money? And I saw this universal waist clip case for $11.60. So I picked it up and planned to see exactly what it will fit. I have 16 guns lined up just for you, and I'll be running it in each one. Which one will fit? Will anything fit? We will find out right now. And remember, everything in the video is bought or borrowed by me. I am not sponsored in any way. So bang those buttons for me. Those buttons may be hard to hit for some of you, but I have faith in your aiming ability. And let's start by clearing this table. So let's get this thing unboxed. This is what it comes in. Universal holster, better tactical experience. So it's a type option. We have the standard 83. I guess there's other forms, but I didn't see any options. Made in China. Obviously, not suitable for children under six year old. Seven, okay. And a whole bunch of import stuff. Okay, let's see how the holster look. It look like a holster. So this is the olive drab. Kind of a nice color. Some little bit of instructions here, which I'll take a look out. And, and it looks like a adapter and two Allen wrenches. Okay. Take a look at it. Pretty standard doubt clip. OWB, Outer Wasteman Holster. So this looks like a one piece design that they just wrap around and screw in right here. Let's see how does this work. Pushes up here and right here. Let's see if this will focus. There you go. So that lever comes up. Looks like it's trigger guard retention. Trigger guard goes in. Clicks that down. And yep, won't come out. Push this here, pull up, and it releases. Okay, so you put the gun in, locks the trigger guard. When you pull, pull here, and comes up, releasing that. Releasing that lock, move the gun. Let's take a look at look at that. We have two sizes and a little adapter. Put that here for now. Okay, looks like a small one fits these. You can adjust, adjust the belt loop 
this one. Looks like it'll fit this. I guess when you screw it, what happens is this, this part moves forward to kind of uh, snug the gun up, I guess you could say. Just like that. This nub looks like it goes right about here, right in this area. So if you're, I guess if your trigger guard is thin, put this in. It looks like a like a like a keyhole, like a key mod. So nub is right there. Let's see if I can do it. And that's a no. Let's try it. There we go. See it and push it down. There. That adds a little bit of, uh, makes it narrower for better retention if your trigger guard is skinnier. Okay then. Now let's get into the good stuff. Okay, we're going to get into the trying of the different guns now. I made a video comparing four different Glock frames, and I have a few of them here. Let me this kit off this cleaned up. And you know what? Before I start, let's get into this. So this is the Chinese side. Then we have the universal holster instructions to adjust the buckle on the belt. Yep, exactly what I said. Remove replacement shim. Replace the shim to fit more models. Adjust to the right side and press and hold the lock button for a quick pull. So there's a list of all different things that's supposed to fit. I had the 83 model, and the 83 model is going to be right here in the middle, this one here. So let's take a look at it. So Koenig, Gamo, Glock, only 17, doesn't say anything about 19 and below, or any types of uh, micro compacts, 43, Grand Powers, H and K. Magnum Research, Ruger American, Sarso, M&P, uh, SIG 225, and Taurus. Okay. What would it really fit? What would it really fit? Let's find out. And so like I was saying, I was comparing four different Glock frames. And we'll start off with my 20-year-old stock Glock 19 Gen 3. So, this does not lock in. Why do you think? Because the shim is still there. I think that's the correct term, shim. It's uh, transitory, so we'll go with that to be safe. Now let's try it. No, oh, is that a lock? Yes, sir. So again, what happens? We sweep this up. So locked in, sweep up, it comes out. Wow. Do it again. Lock. Lock 19. That's what it looks like. Covers the trigger pretty well. Hey, optics. 
Mm. Again, like I said, trigger your fingers off. Three fingers here. And drop in. Excellent. Now I want to see more. Don't you? Let's keep watching. I also have a PSA dagger, which you know is just a clone. Let's see if it fits. Oh. Locked in. Oh, you dagger fans are going to love this. Perfect. Next. Combat Armory. Got clone. Nice. Finishing up on the Glock 19 size is going to be the Grit Grips GG19. Doesn't that look badass? Ah, perfect. Next, continuing with Glock, we have the 17 which is what it said it would fit. And it does. Also have a Glock 26. And let's see what else we got. And to finish up the Glock family, of course, we had to do the Glock 43X MOS. Come on, baby. Yeah, but I cheated. I put the shim in. I mean, it would still fit without it. It would just be a lot of play side to side, but there you go. It even works with the dot. And since I have the shim in there, you can see it. What else do I have that has a smaller trigger guard? Hmm. What the hell? 1911. Is this full size? I think it is. Would it fit? Do we chance it? It clicked. Get out of there. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, this is getting good. See what else it fits. You curious? I am. Let's go. The hell is that? It's a heritage. 22. Eh. Oh, it fits it. Just doesn't lock it. Because <laughs> the trigger guard's way over here. But it fits it. I took the shim out, by the way. I mean, hey, if you want to just stick it in there and maybe put a little little loop hey single action guys perfect kydex cowboys let's go and since we're doing this one oh my god what else is there vaquero damn you ruger do you fit oh 
little tight. And that's it. Okay, maybe not single action friendly. Holds it though. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, what else? Ugh. Smith and Wesson Model 60. Model 60? Yep, Model 60. 38. It sits. It sits, it fits, right? Nah. Didn't look. Next. Oh, that's not fair. That is not fair. What the hell, dude? Are you joking me right now? Uh... Damn you, China. You thought you thought of everything. Not this time. Okay, that's ridiculous, though. Seriously. Get this dragoon out of here. The dragoon? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's a walker. Damn. Get out of here. What do you mean you have one more? Get the hell out. Would it fit? Uh, kind of? No, seriously. There. And of course, you guys know what this is, right? Desperado. 12 gauge pistol. All right. All right. Moving on in all seriousness. Okay. I have one more. It's one of the most underrated guns on there for the price and performance. And it's also one of the most hated. What could that be? Springfield again. XDM. I should make a video about this. These guns are so cheap right now and they shoot so well. But damn you, Springfield, and your platform. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, whoa. It clicked. Fits that. All right. And of course, I save the best for last. And what does that mean? That means SIG. I'm not saying they're the best, but having a holster fit Glock and SIG, that's just insane. So let's get insane, okay? We have the P320. Compact with the Wilson combat grip. Oh, and it locks in pretty tight. Pretty tight. Not much play if you see any of the other ones, right? But it fits. And if this fits, <clears throat> what else do you think I have? If that fits, we have the M18, which is the carry version. Yes. This is with the, the stock grip, the non-X frame. And there you have it. 
lastly, but not because of importance, we have the X Macro P365. Super popular at the moment, and rightfully so. It's a badass little gun. Will it work with a cheap ass holster? It locks. It wiggles, but yeah, what do you expect it to do, right? There you have it, folks. It fits the SIG P365 X Macro. So in conclusion, compared to my Safari Land, this is hot trash, but I would call this an absolute win. It is the perfect price for a range holster and the perfect holster to host a wide variety of guns. For less than the price of a Glock magazine, you can have one too. A link is gonna be in the description and the comments. I have a link there, it's supposed to link to me. I have no idea how that works. All I know is that you might get it for free. <laughs> Again, it's Temu. I have no idea. I don't speak Chinese. I hope the video was informative and I had a good time making it. Let me know below what you think about this holster. Did you get one? And again, I don't promote these videos on my main page. So bang those like and subscribe buttons for me. It's free and would really help me out. I also bought a few tactical items on Temu and plan to make a video about those as well. So subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified when that comes out. Like the holster, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And if you want to see any of the videos I mentioned, click right over there, right over there, right over there. Thanks again for watching. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next one.